To the President of New Era University, Dr. Nilo Rosas, the deans of different colleges, faculty members, staff, parents, friends, and guests, a blessed afternoon. And to my fellow graduates, congratulations. Thomas Edison once said, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. I am one of the few who had accountancy as its first choice for college. I used to love math back in high school, and so I thought that this course would be perfect for me. But like everybody else, I was surprised to find out that my love for algebraic equations won't be that much of a use. And contrary to others' beliefs, being good at math is not the only thing important in our course. We were so reliant in our calculators that we use it even for basic equations, as simple as one plus one. What's vital is analysis. You see, when we are presented with a problem, we don't just dive right into it. We tend to search for underlying problems and look for possible questions that may arise. Because sometimes, when we first look at it, it seems so simple. We'd probably think we can solve it easily, but most often than not, we were surprised by the difficulties that we didn't think was even possible in the first place. Multiple errors, frequent failures, unforeseen mistakes. We often experience this during our five years in college. Getting overwhelmed and almost on the verge of completely giving up is not a rare sight for us. I have been in multiple situations where I thought that I chose the wrong path, that maybe I should have pursued something else. Dazed by these thoughts, I often find myself getting tired frequently and always asking myself, is this even worth it? Well, nothing worth having comes easy. You might experience difficulty, pain, and exert a tremendous amount of effort. You just have to make your journey meaningful. Do not let your difficulties fill you with anxiety. After all, it's only in the darkest nights that stars shine brightly. Let me share with you how I manage to do things amid these trying times. First is, do not hide from your problems. Yes, face your problems. It is often said that the first step in solving a problem is by actually acknowledging that there is one. They won't disappear magically if you continue to ignore it. Next is, prioritize. There will be times that we find ourselves juggling different kinds of responsibilities that we ought for multitasking. This can result in us exhausting ourselves and improper distribution of our efforts. We could spend too much time on things that are not that significant and underwork crucial activities. That's why it is a must to determine what are those that are important, urgent, and can be rescheduled. So, make a schedule. Some may find this time too quick too time-consuming. They say that we end up wasting our time planning than doing the actual work. But if you effectively construct a schedule, you can do your work more efficiently, avoid overworking yourself, and ensure that your time is being used on important things. And because of that, you should be persistent. Now, making a schedule is easy. What's hard is sticking to the plan. I think that we all experience that sudden burst of motivation to be productive and then suddenly deflates when we're working. There could be many factors that can contribute to this, but one thing's for sure is to never stop trying. Restart, readjust, refocus as many times as you need to. And lastly, do not forget to take a rest. Planning and working hard is a must. But this could also take it all on us mentally and physically if we don't properly take care of ourselves. Doing your best doesn't mean working until you become empty. So make sure that when things get overwhelming, it's okay to take a step back and take a rest. But don't forget to pick yourself up after and continue. Other than this, I also learned that it is also important to have supportive friends, since these are the people who you would be with during your college life, even after. They are the ones that are with you through thick and thin. And if you are still overwhelmed with your responsibilities even after organizing them, do your tasks one step at a time. You don't have to be great to start, but you just have to start to be great. Just do it step by step and you'll eventually find your flow. If then you find yourself mentally exhausted, try to remind yourself why you're working hard and who's it for. This may seem like a small thing or you may end up feeling pressured, but it gives meaning to your work. As I said before, do not forget to take care of yourself, but don't overdo it. You have to create care that suits your own reality, one that balances out your life, one that makes you feel cared for, offers relief, and brings you joy. And of course, never forget to pray. When all is said and done, do not forget to thank Him and ask Him for His continuous guidance. After all, 
we won't be able to do all of this without him. Now, most of this might sound cliche, but I guess it's because we often forget that it's the simple things in life that make it bearable. To formally conclude my speech, allow me to show gratitude to those who have made all of this possible. First and foremost, to the Almighty Father for all the answered prayers and strength you have bestowed upon us to survive our college life. To my parents for their boundless love and support, for all their sacrifices, and for always reminding me that everything will eventually fall into place. That I shouldn't hurry since there's a right time for everything. To Brother Eduardo V. Manalo and the administration for the endless support and supervision to ensure the development of New Era University and the continuous provision of excellent services. To our professors, especially our Dean Sabado, for your patience, faith in our abilities, and for giving us the confidence to keep going. To New Era University, for being my second home for nine years since high school. Thank you for giving me a chance to meet amazing people, to, great, to gain priceless wealth of knowledge, to develop my personal growth, and for the strong base for my chosen profession. To College of Accountancy, especially to my org mates who are the reason why I experienced happy pagod. To my friends, for their endless support which helped me grow, move forward, and overcome difficulties. And to those who keep on reminding me that they are always proud of me and that they are always there. Thank you for always believing in me. And to you, Batch 2020, I know some of us almost gave up, had never-ending doubts. And yet, thank you for not letting go. Thank you for holding on to the thread of hope. This is not the end. We are yet to begin our journey. Congratulations, Batch 2020.